Well, <clears throat> good morning. It's not even been 12 hours since I did the video, well, my last video, and this one is for tomorrow, Monday, the 18th of November, 2013. Uh, so it will not go up until midnight <laughs> tomorrow morning, because I guess midnight is actually the first minute of the new day. In any case, the title came to me less than a half an hour ago as I lay on the bed meditating. It just came really clear and I came and I thought, well, I'm going to write that down while it's fresh in my mind. And then when I finished writing the blurb and everything, I uh, thought, why should I wait? Why not just do it now? So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> good morning, good evening, good afternoon. For me, it's 7.22, it was when I started, a.m., on Sunday, and this again is for Monday's video. The title is Stating Our Intent to Creator. How important is a will? I'm not talking about a legal document as much as a statement of intent, especially what we intend to experience in our lives. To whom do we make this statement? May I suggest that the only relevant person to whom such an intent can be made is the Creator. The truth is, we are all creators, and we create either consciously or unconsciously. Most of our creations are of the unconscious variety. If we choose to change the world, it is important that we make it a constant, a conscious creation. Our manifest self must state clearly to our unmanifest self what we want. I suggest that if enough of us do this, wanting a world of truth, love, and peace, we will create exactly that. Something to consider. I haven't even acted on this myself yet, but I intend when I have time later today or at the earliest time, this is, my, this is my string around my finger to remind me to actually sit down and write out, put it in writing, and read it aloud to the universe what my intentions are for the world that I want to be, to be able to live in and experience with my brothers and sisters and with all creation that is ready for the new creation, that is the conscious creation, where we are able to actually play a role in the co-creation of the life we experience. It is indeed a fact, as I said in the blurb, that all that we have experienced is our creation. At one level or another, we did create it. Like it or not, that's, I believe, the bottom line fact. We wouldn't experience it if we didn't create it. We wouldn't experience it if there was not a reason for our creation, if there was not a purpose. It's not random, it's not accidental. From a certain level of our being, that is the higher level of our being, everything has meaning, everything has purpose. From the lower level, sometimes it seems that life is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing, according to Shakespeare and Hamlet. In any case, we have before us now, as a human race, not just one or two individuals on the planet, but a multitude of individuals, at least hundreds of thousands, if not into the low millions of people who are at some level awake and realize the world that we've been living in is a world of fraud, corruption, a world of pain and suffering, and we have made it such that the way that we awaken is often by getting a two by four in the back of the head or by putting a, someone putting a blowtorch to our butt or some other means that is painful. Wake up already, as if the universe is trying to tell us. Will you wake up? Will you start to get this thing? Will you get it? You have created this. Is it what you want? Is it really what you want? Now, I know we're not supposed to want, according to New Age uh, 
theology and philosophy. That want just gets you more of more want. Well, <laughs> sorry, I don't buy a lot of the new age stuff. I think it's I think it's a program that's been running to keep things the same, rather than to produce real change. And people like Abraham and and other channeled messages that talk about you know being neutral and and not having desire and, and things like that i believe that's all programming that keeps us locked into the status quo and prevents us from experiencing a better world and i for one want to experience a better world that's my intent it's my intent to see what i term the kingdom of heaven on earth or the kingdom of God on earth and I want to see that manifest in my lifetime and be able to experience it in celebration with my brothers and sisters that's my desire that's my intent and yes I want to write it down and I want to state it out loud I'm stating it out loud actually right now in this video but I want to put it in writing I want to actually sit down and put it in writing and say to my higher self help me create this this is, I, I want to submit my will to this will, to experience this grandeur, this wonder. I want to move from poverty consciousness and lack consciousness into abundance. I want to manifest that abundance so that there's, so that whatever I need, I have. And there is no more need. There is no more lack. There's only abundance. There's only ability to do and to create whatever I want. And this is what I want to be. I want to be the creator that creates consciously. I want to be the one who uses wisdom that I've gained through not just years of experience in this lifetime, but all the lifetimes my soul has ever existed. I want the unification of all parts of me that have fragmented in the long journey of my soul through time and space and through this continuum that seems to continue to go on and on and on. I want to integrate all the parts of me, the light parts and the dark parts, so that I can derive the wisdom that I intended from the beginning, from the higher self intention to integrate these all, to have all these experiences so that I could bring them together in a higher wisdom, a higher knowledge, a greater ability to manifest that which is that which needs to be manifest for the highest good let's put it that way and we've created as i said we've created the suffering mo mo uh, modality and the video that's up for today uh sunday talks about creating an environment for mass awakening this is how those of us that are on the cutting edge this is what we must do we must state the will of what we want to create for the rest of the of humanity that's not yet awakened and anybody from in the whole galaxy that wants to experience this we bring these elements into form and into creative expression on the planet that can be expressed through through our arts through music through through uh through drawings and sculpting and uh, through our and through just the creating of the electronics and the and all of the technologies that we can that we can create to liberate us more and more and more we can unleash all of the creations that have been suppressed in a culture where the unconscious has been the dominant factor in the creation and people with ill intent from the lower perspective have been in, in control of that system of that matrix we want to change the matrix we want to reprogram humanity reprogram the matrix itself to a matrix of service and of i didn't even put that in there but of cooperation rather than competing and and one upmanship and trying to get our own way and, and ego ego insanity and bring it bring it to a level of positive embracing of of the light and the dark the masculine and the feminine the the physical and the spiritual the intellectual and the emotional 
all of it, integrating it together into a wholeness, into an integrated expression of life that is cohesive and comes together with great beauty and great celebration because it is a celebration. It's a celebration of us finally getting it. Make the intent to creator and remember you are that creator. Yes, that creator is beyond you as far as the little being, but all of the elements of the creator are in you. And now let's make it clear that this is the dynamic. This is the element that we want to create to experience now on this phase of our evolution. We've done enough of the negative part. Now let's do the positive part. Now let's do the integration and make it all whole. Bring it all together. Bring forgiveness into the picture. Bring, uh, bring into the picture all that which we have felt that we lacked. And let's bring it home and claim our birthright claim our inheritance. That is what a will is about. We're claiming our inheritance, but know this. In order to claim our inheritance, we must be willing to die, that is, to let go of the old ways. We must be willing to let go of the old religion, the old programming, the old politics, the old uh, business form, uh, business structure, the system that we've known has only produced death and suffering and pain and lack and poverty and war and disasters. We have abilities that are beyond that. We have the ability to change all of those negatives into positives and transform all of that negative experience into wisdom so that we can actually experience the golden age that was promised to us. But it's up to us. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the ones that have to do it. It's not going to just happen magically by us being apathetic and thinking that everything is perfect just the way it is. If it was perfect just the way it is, why is there so much discontent? Why is there so much frustration? Why is there so much anger and bitterness? Why? Why do all the negative emotions, why are they so predominant in so many people across the planet? Why? If it's perfect just the way it is. I tell you, it's not perfect the way it is. The way it has been has to be changed to the way it's going to be. And we need to start to experience that in the now by stating our intent to creator in clear, concise terms. This is what I want. And remember, if you want something for yourself that hurt somebody else, I would really look closely at that intent. I don't believe that anybody consciously wants that. But sometimes the things that we do when we're still in the unconscious realm actually do hurt other people. That has to stop. That's breaking cosmic law, universal law. You can't harm another. You can't have a desire to cause loss to another. You can't violate anyone else's free will. This is cosmic law. Remember that when you're stating your intent. Your intent must be to enrich everyone, not yourself at someone else's expense. That has to go. State that. State that clearly and concisely. Write it down. Speak it out. Let Creator, your higher self, know what you want. Let the Holy Spirit make you whole, because that's what holy means. It means whole, uh, all together, integrated, one unit, the law of one. Let's let the law of one be our will and testament that the law of one is thou shalt love. Thou shalt love with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your being. Thou shalt love your neighbor as yourself because your neighbor is yourself and we are all one. That is the law of one. One religion, one world, a new world order of peace and prosperity and justice and truth. A new world order where 
we have learned to forgive and not to forget because forgetting would we would lose the wisdom we remember and therefore we have wisdom that we can draw from and a well that is un, that is never ending a well that's springing up within us with everlasting life and life of the positive variety not the suffering kind thank you for listening to these thoughts this morning this afternoon this evening whenever you're listening and for allowing me to share another video with you may god bless you namaste